lands of Zaran. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. You are this close to a timeout. Go on outside, sweetie. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. You're really gonna go outside with that hair? So you realize that your hair looks like that. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. Thank you. 
will die by my Warhammer, Draw Elf. Uh-uh. I banish thee to the forest realm. That way, I banish you first. Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't hold out much longer. Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer. Help! Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not nigh. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. Then my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief, or Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A white, a mage is like a wizard. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. A mage is like- You look sneaky enough to be a thief. A mage is like a wizard. A fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. Welcome to the KKK douchebag to Jew, who probably can also handle our finances. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Ah, a lovely purchase. You have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. 
I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clad. What? Kick Clad's ass, new kid. what I do? I'm the king, Clad, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Ah! Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Critical hit. No, no, I said protect. Protect your bows. This is unblockable. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your Jew ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. Ah! You were all like, bam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you've proved yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Oh, you want some of this? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! You want some of this? You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you here. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Die, asshole! <laughs> well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Come on, get it right. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter-attack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. In your face. Bag. 
God damn it! Son of a bitch! Butters. Butters, oh. You're losing! Stop! No. You got this, douchebag! <laughs> what are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass! Oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Uh, yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Douchebag! Ah! That can hurt! Well, that trick is. Let's do this, douchebag. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. That's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Aw, oh, motherfucker. That's it. Now finish him. Now. <sighs> Drow elves, fall back. Fall back, I say. Yes, awesome, dude. Take that, you asshole elf! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde? You are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go home, Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> you can make me a douchebag, but you sure can't fight. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Fighters, go with him. Guess I'm minding your shop now. You need any weapons or armor? Got some pretty good work here. You kids be careful now. Uh, 
this is the king's room. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. What exactly are you looking for? Wow, Eric has a lot of cool stuff. This is where the magic happens. Last week, Cartman's mom was here with a few men having a whole lot of magic. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. This is where Cartman does magic. Mm, smells like the wizard is brewing some potion in here. Some wizard stew. Oh, looks like he forgot to flush the stew. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. We aren't allowed to go into the street. We're in such an open world, our parents don't want us getting hurt. But those are holy icons from the Orient. Legend has it that he who can collect enough will be rewarded. Behold, the residence of Butters the Butters Mother. really is a very sweet boy. I hope you oh, treat this him as you You face put me right away if Butters does something he should be grounded for. Welcome to my room! Those are my minions. They help me punish society. <laughs> The Wizard King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans, but Paladin Butters lets me be his squire on the slide. Paladin seek justice for all races. These lands hold many dangers, new kid. Yeah, you moved to the wrong realm. Nice hair, douchebag. Eat shit. You're hurt. This looks like a job for Paladin Butter. I got your back, yo. Huh, oh, that beat. I better wait a turn before I do any more healing. By the hammer of butters! Ah. Well, I'm sorry. Look, you're bleeding. Oh, 
It looks bad. Here, take some of this magic cube. Make sure you always carry a few potions. Just don't get grounded for raiding the apothecary's pantry like I do. Quit it! Ah! friends until you have more friends. Rough, huh? There's a professor of astrophysics, that's a professor of neurobiology, but that one's a lawyer, I think. He said he went to Oxford. What I do? Hey! Aw, oh, come on! Please don't ice me, homie. What I do? Feel my righteous fury. Well, hey, I'll Brady. be watching. That's butt Brady. Wait. I used to be sad, but I found Jesus. I don't know. Jesus I think you have a nice church. Let's worry more about your hair if I were you. Oh, hello. Are you interested in some rhinoplasty? Here. I 
got a beating with your name on it. Okay, this is a stick up. Put all the money in a bag or I'll fucking kill each and every one of you. Oh, hey, you all right, Benny? How's it going? Just showing the new kid around. Hi, Welcome buddy. to the Bank of Good to see you too, butters. Thanks for checking in. Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Would you like to invest money with us today? Sorry, kid. Come back when you have some money to invest. Where heroes can come for adventuring gear, nose jabs, and abortions. Hi. Did you accidentally get someone pregnant? I could swear I heard a voice coming up from the sewers. It said something like, Hody How. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Because we're such good friends! We must get back to the question at hand, my lord. Hey, you're pretty good looking, kid. You ever think about modeling? Hey, you're pretty good looking, kid. You ever think about modeling? Getting a swirly in that public bathroom over there one time. Come play hide and seek with us. You're it. Playing pirate is better than being. Less than reading non I am the pirate king. He tried to steal my hidey spot, but I made him go away. Hey, kid, can you help me? There was a mix-up at the post office, and they accidentally gave me a package for Miss Cartman. Any chance you can go to the post office and pick up mine while I drop this one by her house? Generally want to stay out of there if you're a fetus, yeah. Back again, I see. Let me show you our brochure. Back again, I see. Let me show you our brochure. Stop staring at me. It's creepy. Get on the ground and shut up or your brains are going on the fucking wall. Hey, Vince, how's it going? Just 
just showing the new kid around today. Yeah, already been to the bank. Hey, Butters. Sweet kid. I'd love to chat, but you're unpopular. told me to pick that spot. Pretty good, huh? kid. Have you tried Tweak Brothers coffee? It's terrible, but for some reason... Hey, kid. Maybe you can help us with something. All these homeless people in South Park are making us look like a cold and heartless town. If you could go and beat the crap out of all the bums and vagrants, they'll leave town, and it'll restore South Park's reputation as a compassionate community. You gotta get every single one of those bastards, okay? Chop, chop! What sad times these are when the nation's youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. Young man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Find him, and when you do, return to me. You know you can die from a titty twister? You will never get laid looking like that. Stan one time gave me the grossest wet willy right here. I couldn't decide where to hide. Where's your leash, human? Well, hello there, Jimbo and Ned. Howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a...
kill anything in that guide, you come back and see old Jimbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of knight of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's Tavern. Tell you what, good sir knight, I got rats in the basement. Big uns. That's why I got stuck with her majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste. Damn if you ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go.
Oh, hey, I guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? This elf is gonna fuck you up. Goddamn Mongolians. All right, welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is a Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Shh. Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week at Natural. Oh, yeah, Mongolian beef. Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please. You gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go, beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh, how about Mongolian? Mongolian beef smell like a Rhino Richie's asshole. Hey, no fighting in here. Hey, no fighting in here. Shouldn't hey, no fighting in, in here. Hey, no fighting in here. Hey, no fighting in here. To get the stick of truth, we must recruit the war. Thanks, kid. My night is looking a whole lot better now. Here, if you ever need my help, use this. I can't help with any tough fights, though. I don't want to get a fissure. Come back and find me if you want to call me again. But give it a day. I go to a lot of parties. Sure is a lot of walking. Give you a good price. Why'd you call me?
I got a beating with your name on it. The stick is ours! Ah, oh, you founded me! Die, asshole! Welcome to Tweet Coffee, coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak? <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? <laughs> Not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> Hello there. If you're looking for Tweak, he's in the back room, unattended, unattended, like a pristine meadow known only to the wild horses that graze there. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield, ready for harvest. You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you... What's this? Ah, now? The guy's me now? Well, there's no way, man. I have way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you! Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. Y you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. <laughs> How am I supposed to do all of this? There's no way, man. Starbucks has like eight employees. Here, it's just me. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Al Gore! You know, Al Gore, I'm super important. All right, look, I've detected some very strange activity in this area. I believe we are dealing with Man Bear Pig. Yes, the Man Bear Pig. I know you're scared, but I need help. Take these and place them in the location specified on the Man Bear map, Pig. And now I'm going to make you my friend on Facebook. This is very prestigious. You have my email now. But don't give it out to anybody. I'm super serial. Hurry! We must know if Man Bear Pig is here or not. Hey, new kid, suck my paws. Ah. Ah. Well, here we go again. Ah. This. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. Some kids gave me the worst pink belly over there one time.
Trippishes. No, 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 no. Nobody likes me. There you go, Al. Door puzzle. She brought such Oi. Joy. Oh, she just said. I hope you guys don't get angry, but I have to smite you.
you. You just leave us alone.
There you go, kid. All this shitty chicken you can carry. You do good work. I'll help you fuck up Mongolians anytime you want. Not bosses, though. They too tough. You call me with this. I give you one per day. where Jimmy gave me that noogie one time. Accidental toilet deaths. Sorry, kid, I'm Crack too busy to talk to you right now. Maybe later. Rips to the realm of the ancient ones. Jizz drinking scams. Hey, kid, find the key and bust me out of here. Come on a quieter day, I'll take you on a ride along. Up. Robot dinosaur attacks, huge bouncy testicle fad. New Jersey and Bay. I would swear Rumper Stomper had a couple more years Thanks. on the sentence. Now finally I can but go to the land that hasn't been snuck into prison in some kid's asshole. <laughs> you found me! Tee hee hee! Next time finding me won't be so easy! Douchebag, we aren't really being good teammates here. Uh, can we get back to the quest?
This place is dark and scary. What if you never found me? I got beat up one time over there by that tree. Can you keep a secret? Neither can I. We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. Oh, please. What soft kid wants There's this cool the old dude who sells clothes yeah, on the other side of town. One time I got the worst nugget behind that building over there, it sucked. If you ever want some work done on your nose, see Dr. Tom. He's the best. Do not despair, for many find Jesus only to lose him later. But the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. You looking for a fight? I love my wolf security system. I refuse to be the victim. No of way! Person. How did you find me? <laughs> ah, well done, my son. I hope you didn't peek. Remember, I will always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find me again for another. We've been getting reports of a bunny rabbit running around people's yard. Greetings, human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns.
The captain is my mom. I, I can't go outside when she's at home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder, I it's my dad's iPad 2. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. The Federation is counting on you to find that tricorder. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. We better get to the other guys first. Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? Once I got beat up behind that house. <laughs> hey, you're getting popular. I need to get in on that. There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. I don't even like donuts. That's the sad. Well done. The galaxy is in your debt. Let it be known that I have been and will always be your friend on Facebook. around the torso. I don't see it. 
I'll give you a good price. You found all of us. You win. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hey guys, grab a beer and join me for Sports Center. I'm never coming out. I'm sure he'd give you his underwear if you just asked. Fuck are you? I'm gonna kill you, turd. Stand still, it takes, it takes big shits. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. Well, this is Stan's house, buddy. so I don't get grounded?
What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweak. Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package. Huh? Oh, shit. It's a kip! Oh, Christ, what a pickle! Doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. Wonder if it's a healing potion. Sorry to hear about the renters. Usually they're real fun and energetic.
you'll never take this watchtower. You're a douche. You'll pay for that. Please don't ice me, homie. Shouldn't you be in school? Good job, Junior Algorian! With all the sensors in place, I can get a reading on my... <gasps> I knew it! These are definitely hot Manbear Pig readings! Come with me. I must put this data in the Data Manbear Pig base. have picked up Manbear Pig underneath the ground of South Park. If you know anywhere you can get underground, go there at once and run this defilibrator.
There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. Uh, can't I just go right back home after the flight so I don't get grounded? Uh, yeah. ah, nice ah, try, ah. asshole. Ah, ah. They just run around town. Oh, you want some of this? What can I do for you, new kid? Nice work! I remember when I bagged my first dog. This one's real personal for me and Ned. Well, we lost half our unit to a farm cow when we were stationed in Hanoi. Far as we're concerned, you're a damn hero, kid. We're both proud to know you. I have no words. I can't wait to see what you kill next.
This elf is gonna fuck you up. Shouldn't you be in school? You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here! Hmm, yep. That's good shit. All right, Tweet, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded. Like the fresh grinds of our all-organic tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed, and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never... Fuck you, asshole! I... What the fuck? Oh, no! Well, here we go again. Oh. Yeah? Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the L stick the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Move along, sir. I can't look douche. at you without feelings of deep. Well, soldiers reporting for duty, Grand Wizard. Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the. Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah. Where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again. Oh, my God. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man. Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble. Getting into trouble is a risk that Douchebag is willing to take. You have to break out our thief, Douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. 
I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your farts. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's vows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's vows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shout, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole, like so. Huh? Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the freak- Hold! Hold! My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> Could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Douchebag, that was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Thank you, asshole. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's balls. Okay, seriously. You have mastered dragon shaft. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will assist you on your quest, douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now, don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level six thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention. Now, start doing your homework, okay? I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Go conform somewhere else, kid. Oh, please. What goth kid walks around? Enjoy your popularity in one. Point nine children in your four hundred one k conformist. Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at seven thirty a.m. Cub. They're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. Careful, douchebag. This dungeon holds many secrets. For centuries, these halls went up.
and monitored. But then the evil overlord Mackie rose an army of gingers to protect his precious after-school detention. Now these minions lurk the halls terrorizing and suspending the innocent. The intruder alert! Initiate security protocol! Shit, more of it! See if there's a way to take them all out at once! How did your ass doing such incredible magic so we... Legend says there's a sixth grader hall monitor who has a zillion freckles and a clipboard made of human bone. They say he has a freckle for each kitty. Search him! No! No! Get away from me, you freak! The protector of the brass key will never surrender! You can take the brass key from my cold dead hands. monitors need to stop playing around he's got the brass key he's some kind of dragonborn now look this is detention time not time to play dungeons and dragons and besides he's never going to get inside here because to open the door you need the gold key and the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key okay which even if he has the brass key he still hasn't made it past the boss level okay <laughs>
in pursuit! Help! Steady down! Take the silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners. I sure hope the gold key is in there, or else the quest for the silver key has been all for nothing. Careful, juice bag. This is Mackie's lair. One wrong step and we could end up in detention. The gold key. No human has ever laid hands on it before. Let's hope it holds the power to unlock the cafeteria door. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? And it's time to write you a referral. Oh, yeah! That's the boss! Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Fourth is authorized! Busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess.
Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. It is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Uh, oh God, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cuff a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cuff the magic, throw it at your opponent. Yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson. Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't have to tell this, Commissioner. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try a new move. I'm good. Now, Douchebag, come a spell! Right, Scott's face! <laughs> Alright, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey!
douchebag who better stock up on some power-ups and potions. The end of the giggling dunk. Donkey is a dangerous place. I'm staying back here to guard the base. You name it, we'll sell it. There it is. The inn of the giggling donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, Butters! Oh, sorry, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The inn of the giggling donkey harbors the scum of Alzara. A glass of meadow wine, please. No meadle wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <coughs> a cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, Douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kitty and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. You think the bard's really down here? I think I hear him. Hello? Oh, Jesus, it's the bar! Prepare for battle, weaklings. Elves, fall in! Douchebag! It's a trap! You should have never come here, human. I am a level 10 bot, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchant... With magical songs of enchant... With magical songs of enchantment, Mag magical songs of enchantment, me, me, me. 
With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow. Also your mom. I'll handle this. Ow. That didn't count. Ow, my ankle. I, I think it might be broken. Maybe I should take a look at it. Let me at him. Paladin, my wo Come on, let's get out of here. Oh no, we're locked in. We could be stuck in here forever. Nothing a level 12 thief can't take care of. You guys go ahead. I hate Money you! Ow, ow. Uh, someone help! Uh, that came from the kitchen. Uh. Don't get angry, then that I have to smite you. Don't pay for that! King, my lord? Or maybe let him suffer I'm just a little dead. bit more? You can't loot me yet. I'm not dead. You can't loot me yet. Your word is the command. Yeah, there you go, buddy. <coughs> His powers were too strong. The bard, he's up in one of the rooms. <coughs> they took Princess Keeney. They took her upstairs. I'm sure they're gonna rape her. Don't let them rape Princess Keeney. Done for! 
Take out the new kid while I go upstairs and make contact with the King of Hell! You're not getting popped up, fucker! No, but you get your pants! We should get out of here! Use your magic on the front door, douchebag! over there. He's hurt bad. Good thing my medicine skills are plus four. We'll revive the wizard. You guys get upstairs. We gotta get to the princess! Wait a minute, listen. They're raping the princess right now. We have to bust it. He's keeping her prisoner! Princess Kitty, how badly did they rape you? I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. 
You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe. And I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah, uh, can he do that? He has the stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. Hey, let us up. You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. <laughs> it seems we are going to need the charms of a lady. Well, look at what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some big old bitties. Man, oh, man. Good job, Princess Gone Wild. Double D buddy powers. Nowhere to run, Bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your de and fulfill your de Step forward now and fulfill your de Step forward now and fulfill your de Your de Your de Step forward now and fulfill your de Your de Your de Step forward now and fulfill your destiny. You are no match for a Grand Wizard! The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you! Fine! You wanna throw down, bro? Kick his ass, douchebag! Who is douchebag? That's Sir Douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, Bard! <laughs> Set him up and knock him down! Sleep now, the whippoorwills are dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific target. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah? Our pops on your nets.
Ready to leave, sir? The stick of truth is back where it belongs. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the Great Battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom, thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. It's late, hon. Your parents will be worried. Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. It's late, sweetie. Go on up to bed, and I'll be there to say good night. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. I'm having the dream again. Okay, this is dreaming. What's happening? Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ! Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Oh. <laughs> Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! <laughs> oh. 
Wow, look at that. You must have broke off part of the probe and now you can control it with your sphincter muscles. Pretty cool. I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship. Ah, uh, hello. Is this recording? If you are hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity. But I've broken free. I'm so scared and alone. I must find a way off this ship. Oh god, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio log? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone! You are? Oh yeah, yep, that's the Lambda containment block. Take that elevator next to you. The probe in your asshole should interface with it. Great, you're in. You're looking for a security console. Should be one above you in probe maintenance and another below you in the atmospheric processor. Yeah, I know there's some. Can't remember which one you want though. Been a while since I did this. audio logs. Why did they bother when they clearly were in terrible danger? Each audio log I find is more irrelevant and boring than the last. I must keep looking for a way to survive.
you're there. See if you can free me from that console. Probably not, though. It's incredibly advanced alien technology. No way some kid could work it. Keep going. I think you're on to something. No more. No more, please. You're, you're going to have to find another way. Keep going. I think you're on to something. I knew I could trust you. Keep it up. Uh, I'm still stuck. Better try the other console. No more! No more, please! You're, you're gonna have to find another way! Score! Aliens hate electricity! Day four. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find anything to eat. Or a clue to get me off the ship. Just more audio logs. They're everywhere. For some reason, I listen to every minute of every one of them, thinking there'd be some useful information, but it's like they're just filler. Useless filler. They're filler that's driving me to madness. Okay, let's try the other console. God, I hope this works. one audio log that was mildly amusing. A woman trapped on this ship left an audio log about some papers she had left in an alien cabinet, and she told me the code was 776. That was kind of cool because I didn't know the code before that. Though when I opened the cabinet, there was only some kind of power-up I didn't really need. Oh, God. Oh, God, I got an itch. Oh, God, that is the worst. Oh! 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 Okay, that one doesn't work either. 
Head back towards the elevator. Okay, I didn't want you to have to do this, but there's one more console you can try in that room across the bridge. The alien who works there is really tough, so be careful and remember to use electricity. Moo, moo. Great, you made it! Okay, use this panel here and we can all go home! Success! I found something that looks to be food! It's some sort of green fluorescent goo. I'm, I'm gonna have to try and eat some. It's, it's not so bad. It's tangy and nutty. Would probably go well with a... Hey, wh what's happening to me? What's it? I need some medicine! Man, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Man, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh you did it! Oh, thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again!
Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. God! They came out of nowhere! There was a huge earthquake, and then, and then there was burning in my yard! Didn't you hear about it? It's all over the news! Here, look! And that a large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, Midget, I do love me some Taco Bell.
The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick! And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all! Fucking cheaters. I was just come over to see if, well, if you wanted to come play with- This again. Some mornings I wake up with a sore asshole. I must be sleeping on it funny. like strong magic down here. The hammer of justice shall strike the nail of evil into the board of being sorry. Whew. Hey, I'm locked in. Guess they let anybody down in the sewers these days. Who's at the door? Is that the guy with my pills? No, it's not anyone with pills for you, darling, okay? I called that motherfucker three hours ago! This is my lovely wife, Autumn. She celebrates Christmas with vodka and muscle relaxers. And here, every day is Christmas. Wait, where the fuck are my kids? What do you mean, where are the kids? You're supposed to be watching them out back, Autumn. No! They were being watched by the babysitter! The babysitter quit four months ago when you threw up on her! Don't you fucking yell at me! Don't you excuse us a minute! Don't you ever embarrass me for the strange old ass kids! You can't get them, and you don't know where your kids are! Fuck you, they're your kids too, you piece of shit! You fucking ass, fuck you! Howdy ho! Uh, listen, I gotta get my wife some help! <laughs> Could you go look for our children? I sure would make it worth your while. They're Simon, Amber, and Corn Wallace. Tell them their father wants them home right away. My baby! <laughs> Bring me my baby! <laughs> You're a fucking train wreck! Mm, I'm getting hungry down here. Yeah, I hope you fellas don't get angry so that I have to smite you.
Okay, little buddy. Trouble for this.
hope we can find those little shit nuggets. Ooh. I hope we don't get in trouble for this. That's not nice. Ah, ah. in a dingleberry in a sewer system. Shoo, you rat, shoo, you rat bastards. Help, they're after my nuts. Uh-oh, you made their mama angry. Ugh. Yeah, I hope you fellas don't get angry, but, but I have to smite you. Get in trouble for this.
What can I do for you, Duke? All right! Looks like that bat sucked its last fruit. That mouse was making us all look bad. In more ways than one, eh, Ned? Speak for yourself. I can't wait to see what you kill next. Nice work. I will let you know of any updates on Mandar Peg. Make sure to share the news on Facebook. I'm super serial. Stay out of the Lost Forest. Sure, it's got treasure, but they say there's no way out.
sending my kids, like the nice man nuggets. Thank you. Anytime you need my help, you just call on me, and I'll be there sure as a shit on Sunday. Out of hell. Except against bosses, of course. I might have shit for brains, but I'm not stupid, and I can't help you more than once per day. Just like I can't help anyone who won't help themselves with rehab. Hello, new kid. Helping with the homeless of South Park will never be forgotten. Here's your cash. That was so amazing, what you did for me. I now that you have found Jesus, he will always be with you. Best thing about being a cop is people have to respect your authority. Oh, you want some of this? Hey, new kid. I've got a little time for you if you need me to put somebody up my ass. A secret? Neither can I.
Will this snow ever melt? you and all the social status you gained? It's so weird that we aren't... I'll give you a good price. You're back, Junior Algorian. But why haven't you liked any of my Facebook messages? Unless... <gasps> of course. You're no normal human kid. It's you, Man Bear Pig! I have you now! Let us fight to the death! Well, what are we waiting for? Now let's see how you like sitting through a whole presentation on global warming! You cannot escape the scientific certainty of global climate change. Yeah! Ow! Ow! Gortastic! Protect the farmer sort of Die. vice president! Ah. Ow! Ah! 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 Wait, 
I can't die. I was almost barely president. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Give you a good price. Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield ready for harvest. Hey, there he is, new kid, new kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight, but I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time and you might as well skip it and just come with us. There is no way you can win and fighting us will be a complete waste of time. Are you sure you want to fight? 
<sighs> okay, let's get this over with. We're gonna send you straight to heck! You up, dude. territory for their own. So saith the Well of Insight. Plus, it's all over Twitter. The Well says balance can be restored only if a chosen one were to fuck up their banners. No tricks, human. You know what every good bard should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play fantastic melody. If I only had a flute. My Facebook says the rancher might be selling one. You know where the ranch is? I'd love to see if I could buy that flute. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the she-ogre. She has no soul. You will help me battle the she-ogre and reclaim my iPhone? Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. Don't let Cartman use you. Any ally of the Elf King is an ally of mine, and my shop is open to you. trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to.
I guess that's cool. Light a match. Nothing can prepare you for this battle. If I die, tell the guys I fought bravely. Down on that side is where my parents sleep, and across from... Give me back my iPhone, demon! You little turd! I've brought help! Let's see you try and take us both! Ah! Your days are numbered, Shiogre! Take mine iPhone again, and I shall bring justice swifter yet. Get out of my room, turd! I bow to you, Ogre Slayer. I'm glad to call you friend. I'm using stealth. You can't see me.
Oh! Ouch! Come on, let's do this! The wicked? Then maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. <laughs> I hope we don't get in trouble for this. go that way. I am Stan Marshwalker, brother of wolves and badgers. You hit like my grandma. 
Grandpa. We know we're gonna win, can we skip this?
You got somewhere you'd rather be? What, that's it? Let me at him! <laughs> that was close! There you go, Al. This is as far as you go, buddy. Ahead of you lies the great kingdom of Canada. It is accessible only to the most noble and valiant of people. Oh, no, you don't. I can see that you are not Canadian. And there's only one way a non-Canadian can ever hope to enter the gates of our country. You must go back to your land and return here with a passport. Maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. Ooh, that one sounded like it hurt. Oh boy, the cattle ranch. We're here. Excuse us. Hello. Hey, get off my ranch! Sorry to bother you, sir. We are elven warriors of the forest. I understand you might have a, f a flute for sale. You want to buy the flute? It just so happens I'm a level 10 bard, and a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant... of enchant... Magical songs of enchant... of en... A flute is just what I need to play... Ma a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant... of enchant... Magical songs of enchant... of enchant... A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant... of enchant... Magical songs of inch. Magical songs of inch. Of inch. Of inch. Magical songs of inch. Of inch. A flute is just what I need to play. Ma A flute is just what I need to play. Magical songs of inch. Of inch. Magical songs of inch. Of inch. Magical songs of inch. Of inch. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant enchantment. Yeah, well, the only problem is the flute's in the barn, and there's where the crazy cattle are locked up. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Some of the cattle started acting real funny. I, I tried to calm them down, but they shouted something in German and, and then tried to kill me. Well, don't worry, sir. You just need to help from a level 10 bard and his warrior friend. Leave it to us. All right, if you say so. Here's the keys to the barn. It's time to stop misbehaving. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. Hey, fellas. Lock and load. Hey, you did it! 
You elves were pretty all right. Did you find the flute? I sure did, Rancher Bill. And now my bardic abilities will be greater than ever before. Well, you earned it. See you around. Thanks, new kid. I couldn't have done it without you. Where should we go next? I know exactly where we are. We're at the... I think we should go that way. I am just a humble bunny. Surely my music is no match for a hero like me. Don't forget to tip your serving winch. Look at this, y'all. A new kid's coming to the forest to have a soul save. Yay! If you want your soul save, all you got to do is accept the one true Lord as your personal savior and renounce all others as false idols. You're saved. Praise be to Satan, your new dread master. Now we can all be friends on Facebook. Yay! Hail Satan! Maybe we should just stay put and... We should hang out. Yeah. Our territory is restored. I am honored to friend you, Dragonborn.
Last cigarette. You guys got more? Yeah, we just stole a fresh pack. Oh, not the girl. Get lost, kid. We're trying to take your stupid hair and leave. Take your stupid hair and leave. Oh, Christ, what a pickle. Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Butter's got a horrible snuggie over there. All uh, the yeah, kids are there. I about think It isn't right, I tell you. Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time. Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... what's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't gonna do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come, Come on! on. Let's go! Come on! Fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? Why don't you exercise your free speech at home, little boy? Don't we screw it around in here? I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your asshole. I used to have a bad hoarding problem, okay, but I got past it. Now I can just throw things away. 
Would you mind throwing this away from me? I just need it thrown away somewhere very specific. I'll show you on your map. Okay. This is a PTA meeting, young man. Be on your way. I don't blame you for not wanting to talk about it, but people need to know what's going on. I don't blame you for not wanting to talk about it, but people need... Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. <coughs> you see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey. Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Giga! Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go. I used to be sad, but I found... Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's gonna open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it gonna be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this gonna be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have in Chiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is gonna be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve in Chiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? 
Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? Sweetie? Sweetie? I think someone's testing Tupperware. Scuzzlebutt? doesn't really look like a Taco Bell. That's odd. But so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into... Nazi zombies. Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have your roof it on! Rangers do not fear death. Yeah. Oh no, you don't.
Man, this secret government base room sh- There's something really no, weird about those pale German guys. Oh, Come on, let's do this! We know we're gonna win, can we skip this? Mr. Mackey will never quite get over what that owl did to him. I can't decide what taco I should order first. Maybe I'll get them all. Oh, 
Okay, thanks. You threw that away from me? You might be thinking I still have a hoarding issue, but you'd be wrong. Okay. Would you like to be friends on Facebook? If you have any evidence... What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. What? Set charges <laughs> underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see, ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. Nice. I'll send it to you. The PTA will call on you should we need you again. Find your own pit of despair. God. Are your hobbit ears failing you? I gave you your quest. Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo, but can you dance goth? Less enthusiasm. Holy fucking bullshit. Uh -huh. That's not how you drink coffee. You call that smoking? Cough. I'm feeling the rage. I like what you did with your coffee there. Well, after the combo. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I felt his pain. All right, new kid, you've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us, and we'll be there. Ah, you have returned! Come, Sir Douchebag, it is time to summon our forces. Simply call them here and your dedication to Koopa Keep will be complete! Everyone gather round! While the rest of you have been picking your respective arses, Sir Douchebag has gone out and brought help to our kingdom. Sir Douchebag, it is time to finally give you a title worthy of your deeds. By the power of Mandaloth, 
Thirdborn of the Red God, and by the glory of Christ, I hereby anoint thee Commander Douchebag, with all the rights and privileges accompanied therein. Eric! Eric! We know where the elves are hiding their stick. What? Really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter. You mean you shot down their message, Raven? Uh, right, we, we shot down their Raven, and the evil elf king is, is hidden their stick inside his desk at school. Of course. Kyle hid it in his desk. Citizens of Koopa Keep, we know where the elves are hiding the stick. I told you they were cheating. Now we shall march on the skew and make the hallways drip with elven blood. Huzzah! Defenders of freedom, I thank you for your courage and your audacities in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer the humans or the goths. Tonight, we unite as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The humans are here! Ooh, they blew their horn. Blow ours, butters. Guys, flank left. Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind. They've barricaded the entrance. The elves are up to their old Jew tricks again. Find another way in. Take out the barricade from behind. God damn it. Try the cafeteria. There's a door by the loading docks. Go! Uh, ow, I hurt my fucking ankle. Man, it hurts like shit. Your word is the command, my lord. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Hey, I'm healed. Except for on the inside. We locked it so nobody else could get in. Here. New kid, if you're in the building, you're fighting for a tyrant. But I know there's good in you. Stop fighting for your evil lord. Huh? Free yourself from his control! Jeez, there's a mess in here! Those elves are crazy! Oh, I miss his chocolate shelf balls. Don't go in there, man. When I close my eyes, I see my friends' screaming faces. Ah! Fuck that shit.
No, dog. Uh, can't I just go right back home after the flight so I don't get grounded? I'm good. Stay back, you guys! Something is seriously wrong with the hallway monitors! Help! Please! That's Gary Nielsen! Don't touch him, he's ginger! We came to school the morning after the earthquake to report for duty. <coughs> we didn't know school had been cancelled. <laughs> we heard a sound from down here. Found this green goo. It, it was everywhere. It changed the other hallway monitors. <coughs> Serves you right for being a patsy-ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something in the goo. It... It... it Ah! Somehow that green goo makes ginger hallway monitors even lamer! Big head!
probably just a lost German exchange student. Twice. 
Man the catapult and let our guys in the front door. Everyone fall in. Use your magic to open the front door. That's it. Hurry, open the door before they know what's happened. Push forward. I must save my strength for the fight. This is here, new kid. Let's see you handle both of us. We gotta get him, you kid. Hang on, Tweak. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. What if we just make friends instead?
dude. Last chance, new kid. He's nothing without you. Walk away from this. God damn it. <laughs> like that. Uh. We're gonna send you straight to heck! Don't pay for that! <laughs> Take that! Uh. It means you get a free wish. This is it. You have the honor of leading the final assault, Commander. Douchebag, what the hell are you doing? Good to see you alive, Commander Douchebag. Oh, hey, it's Lemmy Wink. away from the desk, Jew King. The stick doesn't belong with a fat, racist liar. All right, Cal, you fucking asked for it. Go ahead and kick his ass, douchebag. New kid, Carmen is using you, can't you see it? He's a manipulator. You're just jealous because the new kid picked me as a friend over you, Cal. You've got one last chance, new kid. Turn around and fight Carmen instead. Do the right thing. Don't let him Jew wash your brain, new kid. Attack him, now! Make him shut up! It's not me you should be fighting, it's him. So pick a side. Kick his ass, douchebag. I can't believe it. Hey! Oh, you motherfucker! I knew you were a fucking douchebag! I thought what we had together was real, douchebag! <laughs> fucking Judas! <laughs> Only one Grand Wizard of the KKK. My locker. Whose desk is that? That's... That's Clyde's desk. Greetings, humans and drow elves of Zarod. Clyde! He took the stick! While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff! With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead! Nick! Get a start! I shall raise an 
entire army of darkness and kill the Earth! Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth! Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad, I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, and my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms, and strip both kings of all their power! <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Come and get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde! You're lost in time and space! No, I'm not! Yeah, you are, asshole! Army of Darkness, defend the fortress! Craig, you're on my side! You don't have authority anymore. The Keeper of the Stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it, I have fucking authority! Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime. Oh, shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. Hello, hello. You missed the news. Looks like we're going to have the country's largest Taco Bell in our new town. Mommy and Daddy spied on your Facebook page and saw that you're making lots of friends. Why don't you tell us about them? No? Okay. Well, it's late, sweetie. Head on up to bed, and I'll be there to tuck you in. Your mother said get to bed. Now do it before you get grounded. Go on to bed, sweetie. I'll be up to say good night. Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are.
just sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift, and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling.
kid, since a lot of our best guys are dead by your hand, can you help us collect underpants? We just need a few more to hit our quota. This goes a long way toward making up for killing all our fucking friends. Go play with your new friends today. Oh, look, you've made friends. I'll be your friend too, sweetie. It'll make you look popular. Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. Upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is. <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so. Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell it, butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you st st suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends, I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war! Ta-da! I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. Don't talk to me, talk to Cal. He's your BFF, remember? You need mass services, Commander Douchebag? <laughs> Perhaps you would like the services of a level 10 bard. There was a fair maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. Did you get the girls to agree? Speak with one of the kings. We elves craft the finest shit in the land.
We elves craft the finest shit in the land. What can I do for you, new kid? Man, you showed that bacteria what a real hunter looks like. I can't wait to see what you kill next. I gave Butters the best wet willy over there one time. Hey, new kid. Back again, I see. Let me show you our brochure. City Walk would bring back their Mongolian menu. The Lord is with you, my son, except for boss fights. be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 
412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, yeah, right away! Right away! Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh, wow. yeah. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. You seem like a pretty nice kid. If shit goes down, I'll come running. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand that. Come on, guys! The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill.
New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Keep up the dash to die for. Girl, no one can talk about a train wreck. This is gonna be a project. I'll have to borrow that. I just grew up a little and not a too cute. I'll have to borrow that. You are just sparkling with girl power. Are you sure you wanna wear that? I just grew up a that deserves the stuff. Oh no, you're too cute. I just grew up a little. It's not. I just grew up. You got curves for mine. It's so hot, we wanted to give you this to make it complete. You look all ready to go. Let's get to the quest. All right, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hi, guys. hi. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Nice look, dude. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry, your little friend. All you, dude, I'll be right here. Access restricted to positions only. Hi, I'm Dr. Poonlubber. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute.
Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? ESRB is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! Let's go! Quarantine the place! I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness. Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. Phew. Ow, my balls! My balls! My balls! Christmas my favorite shopping so malls are closed at five, Doctor. Can we please get it's this over with quickly? Year, it's Christmas time. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. This is about as wide as I can get, it's Doctor. Year, okay, okay, do it. I'm ready. When we hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. Oh, God, it's snagged. Oh god, it's snagged! Oh boy! He did it! Alright, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh, my God.
that little fella. Are those little babies sucking blood? We should get this guy to a doctor before it's too late. Where does the command my Sparky? Here, boy. That's it, that's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! <laughs> Fresh 
fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. Some mornings I wake up with a sore asshole. I must be sleeping on it funny. The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine!
Man, this place is super crappy. What's this? Council, gather round. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Sank femmes ont sobi un envertement. What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Whoa, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or, you know what, just take, take the pants off, too. Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Let me in it! Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Hey. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. Nope, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. What, you think we just let anybody into Canada? Nope, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares?
Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. Come back whenever you need healing or another HIV test. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Come back soon! Oh, hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hey. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Well, I would've picked a 5 by 7 after the flight so I don't get grounded?
Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with diabands? Tell you what, kill off all the diabands in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. I hope we don't get in trouble for this. at all these diabear pelts. Now I can finally make a diarobe. All right, give me that document. 
Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him, and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy. I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? what he does. I shall turn the other cheek. Oh, I wanted to show mercy. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. Poor dire pig. Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now.
Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. How did your ass learn such incredible magic so easily? <laughs> he knows dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. <laughs> Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Wait, wait, wait! C'est la S mauvais! Allo? A secours!
Maybe we should just stay put and wait. If you ever want some work done on your nose, see Dr. Tom. Hello, new kid. The 
Bitte! Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See? Right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Craig's so hot, like he just doesn't give a fuck. Listen up! The girls have agreed to fight by our side! Huzzah! The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord! Then the time for talk is over! Let us all make haste to Klaatas! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, God damn it! Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare! Ready! Let's be the plan! Let's get him! Ow! I'm hit! They... they tore my costume! I worked really hard on it! You sons of bitches are gonna get what's coming to you! Yes, sir! There you go, Al. Thanks. Here, I got this for you. Come on! Let's tear these jerks a new asshole! Abandon hope! Get it! <laughs> Somebody's making bread. You take the tower from the inside! Me and the pirates are gonna scale it from the outside! Ow! Fuck me, that hurt! Ow! Your word is the... There you go, Al. Fuck yeah! Fucking die, Al! Oh, shit! That's from our brothers, you furry fuck! For all the school! They stole it! Uh, are you gonna rape us? For all the school! They stole it! Stole it! I hope they're just faking. We are the Dark Lord. Nice job, you said. See you at the top. Not pass. <laughs>
You're not getting past me. Son of a... Fuck! Ow! I've killed way bigger guys than you. Well, the new kid has. Nice. <laughs> belongs to the Dark Lord. Hey, that hurt! Uh, Who was that for? Uh, ah. Oh. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Uh, son of a...
Stinging Omegi. <laughs> Here's the plan. Attack each tower and raise the gate so we can get into Clyde's lair. Maplebeard, clear the path. Yay! Fuck you. <laughs> Chief Assassin, and you will all perish here and now. Douchebag, I'm stuck! Can you get me in? My three Nazi cow minions will take care of you. Fight one Craig when you can fight five. I'm immune to splash damage, quite sad. What Craig when you can fight by? Quit it, quit it, quit it. Fuck 
Give me... Master. to climb. Dad? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's my favorite kid! Listen, I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're gonna nuke all of South Park! A snook? You boys don't understand, they've put the snook here! Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell! We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ. How long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! No! We can't just pull it out! Snooks have triggers on them! We have to abort it! From inside! Oh, come on! Who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Uh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, who could it be? I don't think. There's got to be someone. It seems like it'd be easy to find someone who could get small or could perform abortions, but both? <laughs> oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook! Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Oh man! It's what's that smell? Is it me? New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. 
Journey onward, That's new kid, it. or you will soon be dead. The road ahead is full of danger and fright, but push onward, new kid, with all of your might. New kid, new kid. Dude, are we really gonna go play? New Where's kid. the command, my lord? Sparky! Here, boy! No power. All right, let's test it. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. Let's just do this, alright? Lemmy Wings journeyed a distance far and fast to find his way out. Oh. Is filled with danger and fright But push ah! down enemy wings with all of your might I'm a Irish woman Don't look back, lemmy wings, or you'll soon be dead Lemmy wings, the time is growing late Slow down now and seal your face my anger is greater now. Ah! Hiya! Hi you hit like my grandpa. 
Greater now. The sparrow prince lies somewhere way up ahead. Don't look back, Lemmy Wings, so you'll soon be dead. Kill! Lemmy Wings, Lemmy Wings, the time is growing late. Slow down now and ha! see uh! your fate. Hi, Tom! Oh, no, you don't. My anger is greater now. There's still a lot of ground to cross inside the man so gay. Ahead of you lies Go boy! Ow! Strength lies within. Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. Ah! Lemmy Winks has made it out. The tale is nearly through. Oh! Well done, new kid. Next! You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee, Matt, and fare thee well. Hey, is that Carmen's mom's? We can't get by, there's too much shit here. I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. I'm hit! Medic! Taking fire! Come on, guys! I'm gonna do my war dance now! Hello, new kid. I am Katatafish. Katatafish of the Stomach's core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katatafish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. 
Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. Your word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Once a year. Ah. Holds it dear. Cold. Every so cold. Danger. Abortion small. access slit stress Christmas level. Abortion access so slit dilated. Initiate it's control chip here. removal. It's Christmas time. And it happens once a year. It's once a year. It's Christmas time. Not that, I needed that. Long chip self destruction sequence aborted. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Slade? What are you feeling? <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> Great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes, now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clad once and for all and take back the stick of truth. It all be totally worth it when we get the stick if back. If you ever want to go back in. Fools! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness! Clyde, back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde. It's toxic goo from another galaxy. Think about it. Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman! This all makes we love. Hell. Oh, no. 
What have I done? You could eat a ship. Ow! For every shoulder. Damn it, I brought you back to life. Kill these assholes. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. Hey, I raised you from the dead. You have to obey. Obey me. In Eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and space! Ah! <laughs> we did it, dude. That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. We've got him. We've got the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the? Who? What? So it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has the stick of truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is... Until four years ago, when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. 
we're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the state controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! 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 Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited, and plotted, all this time, to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. <laughs> Princess Kinney, come back here! Stupid thing. <laughs> Can I interest you in some of my wares? Give us a stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. 
Princess Kenya. Shazam! They start the fire! Wow, what a terrific target. Fight for a game and hide! They start the fire! Use your Wait. rainbow attack, Princess Kenny! For all the fool! There once was a maiden from st 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 from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she sw boy did she swallow. I had a nice lance that she said set, set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. Wow, what is with the audience? Set him up, knock him down. You heard the start, man. Hey, 
Stop fighting! Fight for a demon, honey! Give these vermin a taste of their own medicine, Princess Guinea! No! Where are you going with Princess Kenny's rat, Samuel? Y you sure that is? Fight for a demon, hide! Whew, I better ca catch my breath. Let's see how you like dealing with me. For all the Use your Wait. rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Hey, I'm lucky! Fight for a demon, hide! I think all the dying is making her tired! Keep killing her! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Hit them with the zombie vomit! Fight for a demon, hide! Fight for a demon, hide! For all the Fight for a demon, hide! Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Oh, hamburgers! So much for that. <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty. Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? How can this be? By the moon and the stars and the skies, I swear we will do all that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. For all the soul, fight for a demon, hide! Let's fuck him up! Ready? Aim! Fire! Hey, don't stop firing! What? We're back to normal. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? 
There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. Dinosaur hunters, or pharaohs and mummies. Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick.
Watch out for strangers. Son, I'll give you $20 if you talk right now. so hot, like he just doesn't give a fuck. What can I do for you, new kid? Ugh, oh, I hate spiders. Sure hope you blasted the heck out of it. I can't wait to see what you kill next. Thank you. 